Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Kiecki from Remax West and Park Bench. Uh, I'm here today for another episode of, uh, or sorry, with um, Soko Kitchen and Bar. We're with the executive chef. Uh, his name is Keith Pierce. Thank you, Keith, for uh, meeting with me today. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate it. And we're going to learn a little bit about uh, the restaurant and yourself. Um, so, c can you tell us a little bit about uh, Soko Kitchen and Bar? So Soko Kitchen and Bar, uh, we cater to a lot of our sports crowds, uh, events crowds, um, you know, any concerts, uh, any game, Raptors, Leafs, uh, Jays, uh, we're, we're pretty much a spot to be, like we are right on the corner of Lower Simcoe and Bremner, uh, we have great food, 100% uh, sustainable seafood, so we're ocean wise, um, one of the best burgers in town, um, we, have, you know, we have the best Mac and cheese for the best uh, for the festival last three years in a row. So oh really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I can I can attest to the best burger because I did actually come here uh, last week and it was a really really good burger. Awesome. Uh, worth checking out. Um, so you're the executive chef here. I'm the executive chef yeah here for the property. Okay. Um, and what does that entail? And how long have you worked here? Uh, so we are the flagship property for the Delta brand under Marriott. Um, we have Soko Kitchen and Bar. We also have uh, where we are right now, which is uh, Char 5, which is our whiskey bar. Essentially, it's our lobby bar. Um, uh, really whiskey focused, obviously. Uh, and we have a little snack menu that pairs with the whiskey. Uh, on the fourth floor, we have a rooftop patio that opened up uh, this year in the summertime, and we're going to push it as long as we can, so hopefully September-ish. Um, and just some barbecue snacks up there, really drink focused up there. Cool. Uh, we also have about 18,000 square feet of catering space and about 567 rooms for, for room service. Amazing. Um, the bar stage, is that open all week long? Or so the rooftop is open from Wednesday to Sunday. Wednesday to Sunday, yeah. Like lunch time on Wednesday. Yeah, so uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're open from four to ten and then on the weekends it's one to nine perfect definitely worth something to uh, one to nine uh sorry one to ten one to ten I'm, i apologize <laughs> awesome well we're gonna link you guys in uh like facebook twitter and i'm sure all the lines uh or uh hours of operation will be there too yeah. right um can you tell me a bit about your path in culinary yeah i started at a very young age uh, both my parents are chefs um I'm originally from bc uh, from Vancouver, uh, where I spent the uh, majority of my career there until I'm moving uh, to Toronto. Um, just kind of getting thrown into it, you know, uh, my parents are always working, uh, so I kind of just, I was always around a restaurant. My grandparents also owned a restaurant, so I used to always go turn around the open and close sign and things like that. Um, and then just started prepping, you know, and uh, doing dishes at 14 years old. I went to culinary school uh, when I was 19. Uh, and then I guess you know when I was about 22, 23, I really developed this uh, passion for it because I realized how much uh, uh, art food is. Yeah, it yeah. is, and I, I really enjoyed it, and I just continued with it. So it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I I, I, I want to ask you, like, I guess, who your inspirations are in life. Uh, what would it be fair to say? Your parents are probably one of them. Yeah, I think like my mom really. She must have saw something in me. Uh, she pushed me to go to culinary school. I always had this like uh, dream to be in the entertainment business, but uh, I just, I, I, I was very quick to realize that I wasn't a very good actor and uh, I was just better better in the kitchen, so. Amazing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what would you say your favorite foods are to eat? You know, when I was younger, I was always picky, um, but now I, I eat anything. I guess for the most part is comfort food, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, comfort food is, is rice. And, but I really love like noodles in soup, like broth. I really okay. love broths. I love making different types of uh, ethnic broths at home and things like that. Amazing. Yeah. Some of those things that really take a long time to get the flavor. Yeah. Out. Just it's just something like you know you start with water and bones, and then you're left with this like liquid gold. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love that. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, what do you like to do outside of cooking for fun? Outside of cooking, um, I think the chefs and cooks, you know, we don't always live the most uh, healthy lifestyle. So I do whatever I can to, to, to be healthy. So, you know, try to go for runs, stay, stay fit at the gym. Um, I, I have two kids uh, and a wife, so I love, super busy. love uh, spending time with my family. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Um, yeah. What do you love uh, really about this neighborhood? I think this neighborhood, I, I mean, I, I love just being downtown. You can just uh, sit outside and people watch. You know, you can sit on our patio at Soko. You can sit on our patio on the rooftop. And, and you can just, in, you know, have a nice cocktail, have some, some lovely snacks, and, and just people watch. It's always, it's so lively around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it, it's a super great area. It's centrally located. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what would you say, uh, so, sorry, I can't understand that you were on Chops Canada. Yeah. A uh, winner of Chops Canada. Yes. Which is amazing. Um, what type of experiences did you get out of that, or how was your experience uh, doing that? Uh, I, I always love to compete. I always played a lot of team sports, and that's how kind of it relates to cooking as well. This is a very team-oriented and uh, workplace industry yeah. uh, career choice. So um, competition has always kind of been inside me, and that experience was it was, it was amazing. You know, just to meet uh, the other chefs from the, across the country, uh, being that setting uh, under that stressful environment, having to think on your feet. Um, I like being in those in those situations, and I think that's where I excel, um, and I and I do well yeah. in those situations. Oh, amazing! Yeah, amazing. Um, final thought question: Now you've been in Toronto for a while, are you uh, a Toronto sports fan or still a Canuck at heart? Uh, I, you know, the Canucks, the Canucks are a little bit inconsistent. <laughs> um, but I, I love the sports scene here, it's amazing, like, yeah. uh, just playing sports my whole life, so hockey, basketball, um, not so much in the baseball, but, uh, you know, I still like, like that it's here. Yeah. But I love basketball, I love the Raptors, so. Amazing. So, yeah, I think being in this location, it's an all year round. Totally, like, yeah. Sports, like, you're always going to kind of get that traffic. Yeah. That's what's really good about this location. Um, just to wrap up, like, how can we find you guys online? Uh, yeah, you can find us uh, Soko Kitchen Bar uh, on Instagram, um, Facebook as well, Delta Toronto Hotel, uh, the roof at Soko. Awesome. We'll yeah. link all of these uh, in this video, so just you can click below. But uh, I really wanted to thank you, Keith, for uh, taking the time to meet with us today. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we hope that you guys get to try out uh, one of the many beautiful restaurants at uh, the Delta Toronto. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.